I actually got the very, very first iPhone when it came out. I can't remember the exact thing, but there was some like killer deal with our plan at the time. Our whole fam got the, the Gen 1, so I'm an OG. <laughs> what was the camera like on that one? Oh, probably trash. I wasn't even shooting photos then. That was like my freshman year of high school, 2008 or something, almost 10 years ago now. Dude, I like the colors. It is fall. It's officially fall. Sweet. <laughs> we got the uh, 8 plus. Uh, I think it, I think it listed as silver. It looks white to me, but you know. But yeah, the silver. Uh, I've had the phone for about like 16 hours now. <laughs> I just activated it yesterday, so it's just like it's like a fresh test right now. What the iPhone does for me is it just brings down like you, it's just photography at its simplest form. It's just point and like shoot. You can keep it that simple and. It's cool to show people like you have the exact same camera, like you can do it too. With the 8 Plus, uh, I'm super excited about the portrait mode on it just because it's a lot better than uh, the last one. Well, this is my first time using it, so like 30 seconds in, so far so good. It's a lot better than the beta. Yeah, I, I really enjoy using the 18 the most just because it's a uh, great focal length. Got the 18, the wide. Just getting a few little snippets of this scene. And with the 7 Plus and the 8 Plus, like now that you have both of those lenses, it's cool to take the 18 and throw them on both because you can have like, you know, the 18 wide, but if you throw the 18 on the telephoto, it almost makes it like a equivalent of like a 35 millimeter. All right, some tips, some tips. Um, I am such a sucker for composition, uh, and I think the best way to get good at composition is prime lenses, uh, which, I mean, works perfect with the moment lenses, works perfect with any camera, and it also, too, if it's prime and you have less moving parts, it's going to be a lot more quality of an image. Thanks. As you can see, it's nice out here. Very, uh, like, foggy, cool. And, like, she was kind of at a distance, but you could still kind of make out the path, so just a lot of, like, compositional stuff. I love composition stuff, so. At the time when I couldn't afford like another lens and I just had a 35, like I think that helped me more so than hurt me. Yo, the squirrel's getting in the back, there you go. <laughs> another tip too is uh, along with the MoMA app and the Lightroom app, they both shoot raw. And I think that's super vital, uh, especially if you're gonna do more post-processing. You just have so much more room to edit with. You can bring out like colors, bring out darks and lights especially. I love shooting on the iPhone because like in the realm of photography on Instagram especially like if you're not starting out with like a 6D and like a 24 to 70 Mark II like you're already behind kind of thing it's kind of ridiculous in my opinion because like it's like the best camera you have is the one you have at hand and uh, you know you can say that a million times but until you actually apply it you discover like how true it is. Uh, my name is Andrew Kearns. We're here at the lovely Lake Serene and we're just shooting on the iPhone 8 Plus and with some moment gear as well.